getting treatment <laughs> with yeah, Kyle and nice. thought we could do Q and A. If anyone has questions about the human body and injuries, he will do his best to answer. Also, when in doubt, go see a PT. Just a little disclaimer here. This is just a fun little Q and A. So aggravated SI joint, first of all, it's that bump in the small of your back where you transfer forces from your lower body to your upper body. Um, hip mobility, generally speaking, look at that. Make sure you're, you know, if there's any asymmetries, try to take care of that as well as, uh, uh, first of all, if you feel like it's any close bone, stop, go get that evaluated. But same kind of concept, you wanna make sure you get a lot of opening and space on the inside so that foot can pronate and come down. Forces can get transmitted and don't go directly to the shins, they go through. So for low back tightness and pain, uh, first of all, big evaluation, good. But generally speaking, you want some WD-40 or mobility through the hips so you can offload the back. Duct tape in the core throughout the <laughs> as well to just essentially get that locked down and uh, coordinate it. That's going to be the harder part. I'll answer this one because this is quite personal to me. I have a torn planter plate and sometimes your toe will... <laughs> uh, tape. Um, and I just taped mine and that made the pain stop. So what we do at the office, uh, we focus a lot on movement based and biomechanics to determine how injuries come and go and how to treat them. So we give the best therapy we can based upon what we see and how it's evaluated. Cool. All right, so if your feet hurt, uh, first of all, it'd be kind of good to get realize where at in the foot so you can get specific. But generally speaking, looking for mobility through the whole foot as well as the ankle which should alleviate some of the symptoms and the forces going through the foot. Consistent and long lasting, so as groin pain. Uh, first of all, you wanna make sure that there's no neural stuff there, so get that evaluated if it's too sensitive. Uh, second, loading exercises to directly load the leg, so if anyone brings your leg up, resist here, don't like pull. So runner's knee, uh, I mean, it's kind of a vague term, so you can be inside, outside, but generally, ankle mobility, foot mobility, so you can get over the top of the foot. Mobility in the front of the hip, so you can get the leg back, and then posterior hip work, so you can essentially start driving with the glutes, and less with the quads and the knees.